Ivy and Herbert. So today is an exciting day. I woke up at 7.30 and I couldn't sleep because I was so excited. But today we are picking up a new kitten. Yeah. Why aren't you as excited as me? I am. My hair is a mess. So basically we're on our way to pick up our new cat. You guys know we already have two pets. We have Louis and Tyrion. Very, very chill, very awesome pets. So we were looking for cats. We kind of looked for a few weeks, or maybe over a month. Originally, we were going to get it from um, the shelter, but then just the communication was getting too difficult, I think because of COVID. So then I was looking online and then I found this lady who had to rehome her kitten because she her son developed allergy. So it worked out perfect for us because when we saw the pictures, we were like, oh my God. I heard it's really hard for you know two cats to get along and you have to separate them from the beginning and stuff so we're gonna try all that and we're gonna be patient it could take weeks it could take months for them to fully become friends but i'm confident that soon they will all be best friends oh my god we got him he's so tiny Herbert. i'm dying <laughs> Look how small he is. Oh my god. We had him in the carrier, but then uh, the lady said he likes to be carried, so I put him in my arms and he instantly started purring. So I think he likes to be held. Almost home. And uh, Coco, his best name. Oh, he's sleeping. We named him Coco, by the way, because it's chocolate colored. Sort of. Are you sleepy? Uh-oh. I don't think Louis knows what's in here. <laughs> Please smell something. Smell hey, something? Buddy. I don't think he's sure. We need to give him some space, Louis, okay? You come here. I'm gonna put him in a separate room. <laughs> you ready to come out, Coco? Louis wants to say hi so bad. I know, Lou. He needs some time. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Coco's over there. Exploring. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Is approaching. Uh -oh. Uh oh, she sees a kitten. She's watching from far, far away. That's good. She doesn't seem like pissed. Just curious. Louis is obsessed with him. He's just staring. But we are gonna keep them separated for a little bit because I don't want Louis to get too excited like earlier and jump on him. And Tyrion is, she's over there now. We're gonna give her some peace. It's a stressful day for her, huh? Okay, so it is night. The day flew by pretty quickly, Louis here. But Tyrion, however, I thought it was fine because she was kind of staring at him through the door but didn't seem distressed or anything. Coco escaped briefly and Tyrion immediately went after him. And I ran after them, of course, and then uh, Tyrion started sniffing him, which I thought was a good sign. But as soon as Coco turned around, Tyrion like hissed the shit out of him. So... I separated them, put Coco back in the office, and put. I got the calming collar for Tyrion, so I put that on her. So I'm giving her her space, and I'm gonna be patient with her. Here's Coco. He's been playful all day. So we got him this plant litter box. I saw that Keith had it, and I thought it was brilliant. But the thing is, right now, he thinks it's a playpen. So he did pee in here earlier, which is good. That's his pee. But he's trying to play in there a lot. That's your pee. There you go. You bury it. Good boy. So far, so good. I think he uh, he did actually really well when he arrived. No. He wasn't scared. Not scared at all. He was cuddling already. Adventurous. And we left for like five minutes to get packages. And when we came back, he came like running to us and purred. 
It was so cute. So, so we usually don't get from Louis and Thierry. <laughs> when we leave, they don't care. When we come back, they don't care. They just sit there. Like, uh, you back already? Oh, I smell poop. I think he pooped. Yay! First poop! Yay! Right next to me. Yay! I can tell you that he looks small. <laughs> but stinks like a big one. It does stink a lot. So... <laughs> and Tyrion sitting on the new scratch box I got her. I think she's feeling better. I did put some catnip on there. I showered, which probably washed off the scent of cocoa. And Tyrion's way nicer to me now. And the calming collar must be working. I do feel bad for her. It must have been a stressful day for her. You know, cats are very territorial. This is the calming collar, the, this purple thing. It smells really good too, actually. I can smell it from here. And it works wonders. I'll link it below if you guys want to check it out because I use this whenever we move. Japterian, I know it was rough on you. And she's purring now. Hey guys, so before we continue, we're gonna quickly talk about Bellway and Coco here is gonna join us. Bellway Beauty is an organic, all-natural, vegan, keto, paleo-friendly, and gluten-free fiber supplement. So if you guys are like me and love to eat junk food or sweets or any snacks really, you know that they can affect your skin. But instead of restricting yourself or doing crazy diets, you can try supplements like Bellway and restore your health. It's made with organic psyllium husk, bovine collagen, hyaluronic acid, and real fruit. It contains non-GMO ingredients and no sugar. Collagen and hyaluronic acid increase skin elasticity, decrease wrinkles, and hydrate and protect the skin. It also helps you stay fuller longer so you don't crave those unhealthy snacks that can wreak havoc on your skin. The flavor is actually really good. It's not too sweet, but you definitely taste the flavor. It's not just like a blend water. And you have to drink this quickly, otherwise the powder is gonna be thick. So you want to drink it right away. Belly Beauty is safe to drink every day, one to three times a day. You just have to mix it in with water or you can blend it in with your favorite smoothie. You just have to drink it immediately. They also have belly fiber right here, which is great for your gut. If you guys are interested, you can use my code YB20 to get 20% off your first purchase at Bellway. I really recommend it for your gut health to feel less bloated, just to feel healthier in general without trying to restrict all the foods you like or doing crazy diets. And now back to the video. I slept here with Coco and Herbert slept in the other bed hoping that Tyrion would cuddle but she didn't last night. Coco was so good throughout the night. He slept most of the time, didn't bother me and he was very cuddly which is very cute. Tyrion's definitely sniffing around. She did hiss this morning through the crack <laughs> but we've been keeping her separated for now. I just played with her so she's definitely feeling better. Look at these two waiting by the door. <laughs> Trying to give Terry an equal amount of cuddle time in bed. <laughs> this is day two night. Tyrion's hanging out by the door, knowing that the kitten's over there, which is a good sign. I'm sure she will still hiss at him if she saw him, but still, she's acting comfortable near the door. Still 
still hissing. We're gonna have to wait a few days until we let them officially meet. Put a catnip scratch box right next to the door so she associates good things with being near the smell. Coco's first vet appointment today. It's a curbside drop off because of COVID. So I have to drop him off. Oh, that's a good boy. Yeah. Okay, so we got back from the vet. Um, Coco is healthy. All looks good. We did have to submit a poop sample, so I dropped that off. So we'll find out if he has any worms, but they did give us more deworming medication and flea prevention, all this medication he needed. He only weighs 2.8 pounds, which is pretty small because uh, he's three months old and male ragdoll. So ragdolls usually get bigger. He's eating a lot at home, so I'm not too worried about his health. Still watching from a distance, but not hissing. Girl, it's a very good sign. Tyrion is eating while Coco is present. She did hiss a few times when she saw him, but she's eating. Now they're eating at the same time. Very good. All right, so this is day six, so almost a week since we got Coco. He's doing very good and slowly but surely we've seen a lot of improvement. I'm gonna keep making update vlogs of how the animals get along really because I think that's what's gonna be the real growth here and obviously how Coco grows up. With Tyrion, I knew this was gonna be a slow process. I've been watching a lot of videos and reading articles on how to get adult cats to like a new cat, especially a kitten. And I followed most of the protocols. I kept Coco in a separate room. Finally got like a mesh gate so they could see each other after a few days of closing the door. She still hisses at him whenever she sees him, but she finally like eats in front of the door and you know, approaches the gate first. I did read that it takes no less than three weeks and could take up to months. And I'm prepared to wait months, uh, but I'm just gonna be patient and hopefully that pays off and they become good friends. So yeah, we'll keep giving you guys updates on how the animals get along and Coco growing up. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time.